So, hello and welcome back. So today we're gonna to do Velo Solex, right? I've got new parts, let me show you. So I've got two of these blocks. There's two of those, they're actually off a later one, but I think they'll have to do, because I couldn't find the ones for the 17, so these are a bit newer, but they'll do. Some brake pads, an air filter, and some of this plastic. So I don't know if this is slightly thinner, I couldn't get one the same. Uh, I don't know, that I doubt that's original anyway, and even if it is, it's, um, Snackered. <laughs> I see any word to describe it. So, like I say, these are the brakes on here at the minute. There's the block thing. And there's the air. Yeah. And here's the same. So the rear, the whole thing's missing. It's just the it's just the arms. But uh, this all needs all resetting up and everything. But at the minute, the other pad, the other side, actually grips onto the tire, not onto the rim, because they're all completely knackered. <laughs> but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the air filter in. I think we'll do that a nice easy job so here we go so that's just gonna drop in there looks easy doesn't it <laughs> let's have a look well i'm presuming that's how it went um i don't know if there was something else originally there i don't know but we'll give it a go so there's the front brakes so they're pretty much they're identical i think you get new nuts with them if you don't um, and there's the little cage thing. I'm actually going to clean that because that's uh, terrible. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, get that cleaned. So I'm going to do the front one first. Look at the look on here, it's terrible. Let me clean all that up. So there's one set. I've put new nuts and washers on the end. And I've put them locking ones on because it is your brakes at the end of the day. And I think if you put a locking nut on, well, I haven't done it yet. This one, this one, I think it's terrible. Let's have a look. I think this one's not even. Yeah, look, it's on the tyre. So, uh, yeah, let's get that off and clean that up. So, there you can see that one. Look at that. Now, I know you can buy the rubbers to go here, but I was missing two. That's why I've got all new ones all together. Um, there is a certain way you put these on as well. So, you do it as the rotation of the wheel. So, the idea is, I'll show them doing it a bit clearer. If you brake hard, the rubber can't come out that end, but it can that end. So you have it sort of the way the wheels go. So the wheels forcing it that way. That makes sense. There we go. Front brakes. So now we're going to do the rear. Oh. Oh, I haven't shown you my new bell. Look at this. Because the bell was missing, I went on eBay and bought this one. Plus it's rusted a little bit, so it's got patina on. Look at that. Brilliant. So now let's do this one now. Like I say, it's all a bit... See on these you adjust them. Here. Basically press that in. You turn it. It slackens the cable off. So let's get the pads on and then we can sort of fix the rest of it. So that's the rear brakes done. Look at that. So the idea of these blocks is when you brake hard, forces against the chassis of the bicycle. Um, this brake's a bit sticky. I have to. I might have to even take it off yet and degrease it a little bit. But I've had a dabble, and I've put those bits of wire back on. I don't know if it's right. That's how it was when I got it. And all the pictures I find, there's always two holes there and a hole there. Let me show you on the better side. So basically all the ones I see for sale or online, there's one across there, sorry, one across there, one across there, and all the others are left with holes in. There's even one with a hole in down there. Um, so yeah, and the other side, it was just one piece. So it was just like hidden down there. So, you put it through one, across, down, and across again. Now the only thing I've noticed on this box we have to fix, we have to fix this here, look, see it's broken. And you have to take this arm off here, and here, and we have to maybe do a bit of a weld on the back of there. We'll see, we'll see, we'll have a look, because it's not, it's definitely not right. All the bicycles I see, this piece of tin seems to be on the outside, and all the ones I've seen, so anyway, we'll have a look. We'll we'll get more involved with that later on. But I just want to get the um, wire done here. Oh, and all this 
this guard thing it doesn't sit quite right. A bit wobbly. And I reckon there was a piece of metal that went across there. From there to there. Just to lock it in. So I'm going to make a bit. Um, but yeah, getting there. So let me just put that cord on here. So what I've got is actually this plastic here. It's a little bit thinner uh, than the original. The original's a lot bit thicker, to be honest. But there's not a lot in it. But I mean, it's what you can get, isn't it, at the end of the day? Um, so uh, yeah, let me whack this on. So there we have it. Um, I think he's got to warp a bit yet. Settle in a bit and I may have to just put a tie. But yeah, there we go. So that's it for this video. I'll just give it a quick oil rag over the top. Um, and then I've just got to fix that bit there and then we'll test it. Oh, this is going to be exciting. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.